Jesso Fernandez, well, good morning. Hello, how are you? Good morning. I'm good. How are you doing? Yeah, pretty good. Thank you. All right, well, let's move on to uh, what's happening this season. How would how would you assess this season so far, for obviously for you and and also for the team at Jeju? Well, yeah, we did we did start strong. I mean, not after the first game that we lost three uh, zero home against Pohang, but then after that, the things kind of like uh, start going well for us, and we we were doing super well. But then at the uh, middle of the season, we kind of like. I feel like this always happens. We kind of like break and we have like uh, three, four games. They can't have a, a, a victory. And that kind of like broke the spirit of the team a little bit. So we went down again. But I feel like this season's been very similar to last season. At least uh, in general, not for me in personal, but in general as a team, uh, it has been very similar to the last season that we have a good start but then at the end we uh, at the middle we break a little bit and we start coming down down then we have to fight again to to stay in the top six and maybe reach the the champions league but uh i would say it's been a, a positive overall it's been a positive a very positive uh uh season i believe we have a great team we we could be much higher and in a better situation but that's all good. So it didn't happen if it didn't happen. So we are in a situation that we are now and we still have hopes to to qualify for for the Champions League. It's our main goal. And I hope that will happen because we have we have a great team. I believe we, we play well and we, we can achieve that. Of course we have the uh we have Pohang and and Incheon fighting fighting for the the same spot, and they they as well have good teams and they play well. So I think it's going to be a fight until the end to to reach that spot. But I, I have a lot of confidence in in our team that we can we can make it. Yeah, I think we're doing a good job. Yeah. Well, let's go back to obviously last year. How mm-hmm. did the move to K League come about? What made you decide to come to K League? Obviously, you played a lot in Europe, and then you were in the MLS for a while. Why mm-hmm. K League? Well, it wasn't for any reason. I didn't pick K League myself. I feel like K League picked me because I was my contract. My contract was was over with Sporting, so I was kind of like, see, okay, now what's gonna happen? Who? What kind of offers I will have to to move? And I wasn't. I was looking to come uh, to get out of. MLS to go because I was like, well, with my age and I do want to make a little bit more money for my family and to get some stability before I'm my, my football career is over. So I was like, well, so I, I need to move out of MLS. So either Saudi Arabia, uh, Asia or some other place where I could make more money. So, but I never had South Korea in, in my mind. And my agent told me that there was a club in South Korea called Jeju. I had no idea about Jeju at the time. That they were interested in me. So I went to search them and I was like, well, they were in the second division, but I didn't look well. So they were in the second division, but they were the champions. So they were promoted to the first division. Yeah. But then I said, well, what 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 is their offer? And their first offers were not. I was not interested in their first offer, so I was like, no, forget it. If you want me to go, offer me something that that I will go for. If not, I will I will have other options. So I don't I don't care about it. And they they eventually wanted me so much they ended up offering me the the contract that I asked for. And so I say, well, yeah, why why not? If if you guys really want me able to offer me this this contract for me to go play for you, uh, I will go. But before that, I had no idea about JJ United. I knew about K League because there were uh, Henry had moved from uh, Vancouver. I think it was he was at the time at Vancouver yeah. to Suwon. Yeah. Su- Samsung. So that was the reason that I knew about uh, K League, but not about Jeju at all. So mm-hmm. yeah, it was it was like that. I did have no intentions to, in my mind, to to move and to play in K League. But Jeju found me, and they came after me, and here I am after two years. 
Yeah, and obviously it's um, a big club. Like you said, they yeah. were in the second division, but that, that that was a shock that they got relegated in 2019 was quite a shock. Oh. But they, because um, they were in the Champions League for a long time be- before that, so uh-huh. they're a big, they're a big club, but also they they they're on the island. You know, it's it's one of the nicest right. places in Korea. So you must be That's... enjoying the island life. How's that for you? Yeah, it's, it's it's amazing. I mean, my my wife, my wife, my kids, and I we we do enjoy the, uh, the island so much, especially because we like it. It's, it's so quiet, no traffic. Uh, it's uh, it's kind of like a little bit like a countryside. Yeah, and we but we live in in Kansas City. It's a countryside. Uh, state so it's uh, nothing going on like new york uh, chicago or all those big cities so we 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 like it a lot and has an awesome view the weather is is nice uh it's yeah it is just such a, a great place to to live and my family is happy there and we could see we could see uh, our future to 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 be continue living in Jeju Island and playing for Jeju City. I don't know how the negotiations will go, but we would be definitely very happy if we have the chance to stay in Jeju City, in Jeju Island for a couple more years because it's a beautiful place. Yeah, well, let's, let's hope so. Well, obviously, obviously, we talked about already you played abroad, different, different leagues. How does the style of play compare in the K-League to, say, MLS and obviously in Portugal as well? Well, I think the gretch, the aggression of the Korean play, uh, Korean Korean player players, the aggression they they run after the ball, uh, they run so much. I think it's what uh, makes it much different than uh, at least MLS because I do remember the first trainings. I was like just getting the ball and trying to like dribble one and two, and they will come with everything and just knock me out and i was like oh wow i I had no idea this is yeah they are this competitive and they they go with everything every play so that was one of my biggest uh not shock but one of the biggest difference that i noticed between mls and and uh, k league now the way they play a lot of teams like to play uh three three four two or three uh Three four two or three five three five one. Well, they like to, a lot of teams like to play with the uh, center backs, three center backs, which yeah. I was quite not used to in a in a MLS. And my coach likes to play that style, even if we're changing a little bit now. But he likes to play with three defenders. So I kind of I don't play as a natural winger wing. It's more an inside winger. And I was not used to that. So that was one of the reasons for me that adaptation last year was very difficult also because I, I used to be all the way in the wing and just run behind the defense or stay, but just stay on the line. Most most of the time I wouldn't go inside as much. And here it was completely different. And that kind of like I had to adapt to that new formation, a way to play also. Uh, but yeah, I would say the aggressiveness of the Korean player, it's its what I, what, what was the biggest difference that I noticed between playing here and playing MLS. Yeah, well, you talked you talked about how you are more central now. Did you know that you have the most touches in the area, in the league, out of all the players? Yeah. No, I had I had no idea. I had even no idea. even more than Jumin Gu as well. Obviously, as you know, is a you know an out and out striker. Right. Does that d- does that show more about the style of play at Jeju, or do you think is it more about the the role of a winger now is is a lot different? You know, you don't really have midfield fours anymore with two wingers. You have sort of a front yeah. striker and then two wide forwards. Yeah. Is that more about the, the modern game? Is it about Jeju's tactics? Is it a bit of both, perhaps? Uh, but I think mainly it's only about the, the modern tactics. I think the poor winger that would just stay in the line, run behind the defense, or just stay in the line mo- most of the time, it's kind of like losing losing it. And people are more like playing inside and just kind of like struck. At least our coach, he's pretty much like he has us three, like the, the forward, Mingui will play in the center, and me, I will play next to him, but 
not really wide, so more inside, so we can play together and have many touch, like switching the ball easily. So yeah, I think it's more than the the modern uh, kind of like winger position. It will be more like that than than before. So and the way that our coach likes to play too, that he like that everybody like touch the ball so much and just have a lot of players in one side and touch the ball, find a way to to get to the to the goal with the uh, the having more players than 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 the the opponent and making it more difficult for them to defend. So that's that's one of the reasons too that I play more inside and just let the left back go all the way open so I can, I can be closer to the goal also. Yeah. Well, you've been in good goal-scoring form as well this season. Uh, what's the secret? Is it the, the change of hairstyle? Is that what it, is that what it was? Just, you know? <laughs> maybe, maybe, but I, I am... <laughs> I do believe I do believe in God, and I believe this is just my moment that's happening. So I will just let it go as as long as it will last, because we know that in soccer it's actually this this happens with well a lot of players. Sometimes you just get in a moment you are always in the right place. Every time that you you kick the ball, you shoot the ball, you have a chance to score. And I think that's I'm in that moment now that when everything happens in, in my favor. And of course, I work hard for it also, but uh, everything is going in my favor now. So I'm just trying to enjoy it as much and make it last as long as possible and keep having a, a good season. Yeah. Well, there could have been more goals as well, because um, again, looking at the statistics, you are sixth in K League One for shooting accuracy. Really, that's fifth because Magosha from Inchon, he's left now. Oh, do you, okay. I mean, do you pay attention to data like this? Does anybody at the club give you this kind of information or is it all this a, a, a surprise for you? Uh, it is a surprise for me. No one in the club gives me this information. But I do have, when I played and after the, after the game or during the game, I do have in mind, like, have I had an opportunity to shoot? Have I? How many times have I shoot to the goal? Because I'm I'm yeah. a I'm a forward. I'm a winger, so that's my job to create opportunities to 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 my team and try to score. So I do have that in mind when when I'm playing, and I do always try. If I have a chance, I will I will take it because that's that's why I'm there for. But I did have no idea about the statistic or how high I was positioned in in the in the in the ranking at all yeah that's a surprise for me definitely good well i think it's all the more impressive when you think about how busy the schedule has been this season obviously not helped by the world cup obviously that coming up in november how hard is it for you and the players to recover and be at your best when there are games every three days yes it's 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 very it's very difficult and we players have thought, and we we do wanna wanted to do something about it, and hopefully they will they will make a change for next season, because it's it's really tough. And I remember one of the games away, and we had and especially for us that we have to travel so much because we are in Jeju. And I remember a away game that we play against uh, Kim Chan. Yes, yeah. Kim Chan. They they were flying, and we lost three zero four zero. And I was like, I can't run. I am so tired and it's so hot. And then in the summer it gets so hot, even worse to recover and get get in good shape. And I was just like, yeah, the schedule makes no sense because now players are so tired and no one can really run. And and people watching the game can really have a, a good time because players are so tired and they can they can really uh, run and be a competitive game because it's it's difficult so yeah i do i do remember having thoughts like that uh because we play like every three two 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 games and it's 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 difficult i mean i th- i believe if we are used to it it might be easier to adapt but still like the premier league and the champion the championship they just play every but like they have what they have 50 players per per squad or something like that I don't know, but yeah, it's it's very difficult, and it would be good for the players and for the K League if we can have a schedule 
with so many games definitely yeah. Yeah, hopefully things are more normal next year. We haven't yes. we've had bad luck because of COVID nineteen that obviously affected things last year and the year before. This year is mostly about the World Cup. But what right. what, what do you try to do to recover? Do you do ice baths or do you do yoga things like that? How do you stay in shape? Yeah, it's trying to rest as much possible, eat well, and I bought some uh, I bought some recovery stuff like the. Normatec boots, and I have a heating pad, I have a compact. So I bought to myself a lot of things that can help me to recover, and I use them because otherwise, yeah, it's it's impossible to, to, to stay in a minimum condition to play, and then injuries will come, and you'll be away out of out of the team because you're recovering from injury, which is even worse. So yeah, I do try to take care of myself with resting, food, and using my stuff to help me recover my body. It's 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 the only way. Yeah. Yeah. And obviously as well, probably down to the, the manager to try and rotate things a little bit and maybe try and keep players fresh. But what what is Namkir like? He he's got a bit of a reputation for being quite defensive. Is that unfair? What's what's he like to work with? Uh he is well, when you say defensive, is in a style of play or as a person, his personality? Personality. It's his style of play. Yeah, um, I've never, I've never met him, so I'm not sure what what he's uh, like okay, as a person. Okay. Yeah, it is, it is true. He is, he, he most of the time worries more about the way that we defend and the way that we attack. But I think it's because he is more like, well, when you attack, you do whatever you want you create yourself you do whatever uh feels best to to create opportunities but when we defend we have to defend as a team and everybody has to know what to do so we don't get scored on i think that's the way he thinks about it, it gives the freedom to attack and he's kind of like more uh, content uh defending but so i don't i don't i don't know i think it's just the way that he thinks the like the way that he likes to to manage things but I don't think he's super defensive or very defensive coach. Are you expected to get back and and, and help and defend? Like if if you know they've looked at the data and or just so you haven't run that many times, will you get sort of told off by the coach or or, or people? What's it like? Yeah, for but he he will come over and tell me. It will have, especially if you lose. <laughs> If you lose on yeah. the, or we don't have a good game, he will definitely come over and say, hey, what happened? Because he follows all of uh, our data. And when you don't run as much, he knows it. And he will come to you and tell you, hey, what's what's happening? Are you losing your condition? Were you Are you tired because you didn't run as much as you ran? Or you didn't run as much as your average. And he has told me that, like, you didn't run more as your average. I know when you're well, you can run this. And now you didn't, you're not doing it. Or would you need to rest? Or So, yeah, he will be, he noticed that. And he will come to you and let you know that. I see. It's happening, yeah. All right, well, there's, there's not long to go now until the league <laughs> splits into two. Um, what do you think about the split system? Have you played in a league that has one before? Well, MLS has playoffs, but it, it quite does not. Uh, well, as a, it's not really split, so it's yeah. just like the bottom six will just go to playoffs, and the other ones are are done. Here, both sides still playing, so I never I never played in this kind of system, and I don't know what to think about it. You know, I it's okay. It might be unfair for uh, a team that has been regular the whole season and by the end of the season they they're not so good for some reason but i mean i i don't i don't mind <laughs> i don't mind it because the team doesn't the league doesn't have enough teams they could bring more teams up to make it like to just play one to two times against each other and be over but then maybe the league would lose some quality but so, I mean, I think it's the way they've found to keep the league competitive and interesting for for the people to watch. So I, I don't mind that. I don't mind that. It's it's okay. Just playing yeah. so many times against the same teams, it's kind of like, I don't know. It's 
yeah. something that I was not used to. So, but yeah, yeah, I'm definitely. I mean, I think I think the aim is like like you said to make things interesting, and and it used to have a different name. Now it's called Final A and Final B, but before mm. it used well, to be called it, it was the Championship Round and the Relegation Round. Now, oh, John Book had usually nearly won the league before the split so it was right. the the league title was never really decided oh before. so i think that's why they changed it but well, what, what's funny is after the year that they changed it the mm. title race became very close so since they uh, since, since they renamed it right now the title race between ulsan and john walk has been In very general. close yeah okay well, yeah that's that's definitely yeah. good it's interesting, yeah. Well, obviously, you've got a match again very, very soon. Your mm. form's been a little bit, I don't know, consist inconsistent. Three wins in twelve. Is that the busy schedule? Is it? Is it the heat? Is it as simple as that? Yeah, I believe so. The heat has the heat and the schedule has a great effect on 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 the teams and on the on the players and and on the games. And sometimes you just feel better. You can run and go and fight for everything and sometimes you feel just so tired that you can't really be be yourself and uh play as well as you wish but i think definitely the the this the tight schedule and the weather are the biggest the biggest uh issue for the breaks of of the teams that to being so inconsistent and uh, inconsistent with the with the matches with the winnings and losings and yeah definitely yeah and so it how do you give you that much time to prepare for the games also yeah, yeah. so hope so are you hoping then as the schedule gets a bit lighter you're going to start to be a bit more consistent and turn things around yeah definitely i i feel like if you if you have the time to recover and study the opponent and but especially to recover uh, it will it will make the games. It will make things more uh, consistent, and it will be better. Yeah, that's what I hope. Good. All right. Well, final question, just So, what message do you have for the JG United fans? I mean, just first of all, say thank you for for supporting us uh, throughout the the year, the games, home games and away games for for being there for us in only a way of supporting us and keeping us uh fighting and doing 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 our our best as a as a team so that's i'm i'm very thankful for all the people they come to the stadium to watch us when we play home and when and people that travel uh away to watch us to watch us play also so thank thank you a big thank you for all those people that support us no matter no matter what all right. Well, Gerso, thank you so very, very much for your time today. It's been a genuine pleasure. Thank you so much. Good luck this weekend and good luck for the rest of the season. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much, Paul. It was, it was a pleasure to to talk with you and have this interview with you and hope so we will see each other again in the future and talk more about, <laughs> about, yeah. about football. And yeah, I really had a great time with you too. So thank you for inviting me to, to spend this time w with you and talking about about football. That was great. That, my pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you. And yeah, yeah. hopefully I'll, I'll, I'll see you in person one day. Yes, exactly. Hopefully too. I would like that. All right. All right. Thank you. Cheers, Jason. Right. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Right. Thank you. Bye-bye.